Many internet users have trolled Tyler Perry for appearing in the latest trailer for Harry and Meghan's bombshell Netflix series, Harry and Meghan. The 53-year-old actor, comedian and producer reportedly opened up about the couple's relationship in the trailer for the final three instalments of the series. He said of their relationship, they just wanted to be free. They wanted to be free to love and be happy, and I applaud that. As expected, many on social media were not pleased with the actor for appearing in the teaser as one person pointed out, embarrassing yourself supporting two unbelievably privileged, manipulative liars, willing to trash an institution and his own family for money. You don't know them. There are actual victims in this world. Do you read the news? I thought Tyler Perry didn't like them anymore, another added. While someone else said, wanting to be free is one thing, but publicly trashing your family and making money to do it is sickening. No one had an issue with them starting a new life, but they're now shamelessly making up grievances just for the money. The lies and the hypocrisy will be their own undoing. Earlier, Harry and Meghan were backed by Perry as they left their lives in the UK and their royal responsibilities behind. In Harry and Meghan, it's also revealed the couple hadn't even met Perry before this. The filmmaker had simply reached out to Meghan after he saw negative stories in the press about a father, Thomas Markle. Tyler Perry is godfather to Lilibet, and in the second part of the Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan, the Hollywood mogul admitted that he refused to travel to the UK for the christening. Perry said that his reason was that he didn't want to do all of that in the church with them and figure all of that out, implying that all of the hoobaloo around the royal family was what put him off. Maybe we can do a private ceremony here and let that be that, he said. And if you have to do it there, then that's okay. Viewers quickly took to social media to express their feelings. One person wrote, I think it's hilarious that they asked him and that he agreed. Didn't they fight tooth and nail to have a christened in the UK as a royal? Lol. I'm glad they were ignored. Can you imagine Meg coming over here for the baptism, making it a spectacle with a new famous friends? Red carpet event for Tyler Perry. Who's the godmother? Do we know? The second pointed out, Tyler Perry just signed a huge deal with Netflix. They were all interconnected by Sunshine Sachs, Oprah and Gail etc. At the time, these interviews were done. Oprah, Gail and Tyler are spreading out the damage by tag team and in support of Harry and Meghan. Didn't see any Oprah or Gail pumping them up in the reality show. Don't forget, Sunshine Sachs represented Harvey Weinstein during his sexual assault scandals and they employed private detectives and went out on a full-out war to destroy the victims. Oprah stood by Harvey's side until the public tide turned against him. She's never publicly denounced him. The third commented, So, Tyler Perry says that he'd never met them when donating his California house for their use, then ends up being a godfather a short time later, maybe a year. Besides the obvious, that they have few real friends on tap, what is her end game having a Hollywood mogul be the godfather?